LA Times ended up changing the article. So I have some stuff from the original of what was originally said in this article because it was nasty, bro. And it made me want to cheer for LSU even more because these are our 18 to 22 year old women, bro. Like that, it's crazy to put them in this, this mixing pot and put this label on them that's, that's so far away from reality. So this is what the article said. He wrote, do you prefer America's sweethearts or dirty debutantes, milk and cookies or Louisiana hot sauce? And then the last remark he used as a reference for UCLA versus LSU was this is a battle of good versus evil with LSU being, quote unquote, the villain. This was wild. And I'm like, OK, if you're good, if you don't like Kim Markley, then talk about Kim Markley. But you don't have to insult everybody's character on the team. And I'm like, bro, you don't even know everyone on the team enough to say that. And, and like one of the things that, that really bothered me and, and I didn't know some of this stuff, too, but I looked into it. The, the debutantes. Oh, my gosh. The dirty debutantes insult was insane to me because I didn't know what this was, bro. I had to look it up. I had to look it up because I'm like, OK, that's kind of a crazy comparison. You say UCLA is America's sweethearts and then dirty debutantes. I'm like, damn, you know, I don't really know what that was. Truth being told, but I looked it up. If you look it up, you're going to probably see the same thing. When I searched dirty debutantes up, some shit from Pornhub came up and it was pretty much like casting, bro. It's like casting or like selling sex and stuff like that. And I'm like, bro, that that's just wild to say that about a group of young women who are not doing anything in that manner. Like, how can you find yourself to writing something like that? To me, if, if you're a, a sports reporter and this is the type of stuff you're writing about with this much biases in your writing, it's clear that there's a lot of prejudice. It's clear that there's a lot of hatred toward the black women on LSU's team and Kim Markley's success. So, you know, I'm like, how the hell did they even let this go out? Bro is in the game for all of the wrong reasons. He needs to go into politics if that's the case. If you're going to really be insulted by someone's success or a group of women who are just embracing the game of basketball and embracing themselves in all their different unique ways, doing nothing that's, uh, you, you know, um, exposing themselves anywhere near a, a dirty debutante. Like this is, it, it was crazy to me to watch this and, and see this article. So when I was looking at this and I'm reading it, I'm like, bro, bro shouldn't even be writing at this point for sports because it has nothing to do about the UCLA LSU game. It has nothing to do about the character of Kim Walkley and um, how she is as a person. And it has nothing at all to do with the the realistic version of the care or uh, of the player's characteristic. So to me, I'm like, bro, that that was wild. So this made me cheer for LSU's basketball team even more. Um, I wanted them to win against Iowa just to kind of, you know, throw the slap in your face like how they, they ended up winning anyway. But you know what? They didn't get it done. And you know, they had a great season. Kudos to them. They've been they've been dealing with stuff like this all season. You know, the, the shady reporters, the, the shady he said, she said, the shady rumors, all of that stuff. So I'm glad that um, they were able to, you know, at least have a good season, make the game competitive and stuff like that. And the better team ended up winning. Iowa did deserve to win. So, you know, hey, that was the way it was supposed to be.